Hello everyone, I'm Sumir and I'm working with Professor Jasper Tagner. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, our project unification of the single cell genomics data. Particularly I'll be talking about uh, our development method uh, that is SEA again, which is the unification of the single cell genomics data by using adversarial learning of the latent spaces. Technologies for the production of the single cell omics data are rapidly developing. Uh, which includes various library preparation protocols and data coming from uh, multiple uh, modalities or multiple omics and which leads to the complex nested batch effects in the data. Thus, a joint analysis of the single cell omics data sets is required and which requires a reliable data integration. The integration and the combination of the data is still an outstanding challenge. It includes different challenges such as combining different experiments, uh, same modality, same library protocol, uh, or the data coming from different experiments, uh, having the same modality, uh, but a different library protocols. Or we can have data coming from two different peer data modalities or two different unpeer data modalities. So here we show that a coupling of a two neural network architectures is sufficient to solve a broad suite of data integration challenges as these challenges have been previously tackled uh, with individual methods uh, developed for each uh, particular challenge. So in this architecture, we use two neural network architectures, uh, which are the autoencoders and the cycle gang. So first an autoencoder learns a low dimensional embedding of each experiment independently and which res respects each sample's uniqueness uh, protocol and the data type. Thus, it does not force them into a shared latent space. Then next, we uh, use the cycle again, which learns a non-linear mapping between these different AE representations. So we evaluated our method using the simulated data and the real data set, which includes uh, different data modalities and the different library preparation protocols. In order to evaluate the performance of the SE GAN on the various integration tasks, we evaluated for the first experimental setup that is the cross in uh, platform and data and with having the same modality. The visual comparisons with the translated versions of the other domain reveals a good agreement where we have this A to B and B to A are the translated domains and these are the original domains. So the SE again preserves the trans, uh, transfer cell identity agreement with the original identity. Next, we tried, its, uh, perform, uh, tried to evaluate its performance on the same platform data, uh, having the same modality, where we have the data uh, from the old and the young mice. And uh, the results over here shows that the SE again still preserves the cell structure in the translated domains. In the third setup, uh, where we tried the, uh, the efficacy of the uh, SE again is the uh, pair data having the different modalities where we have two modalities one is the AE RNA seq data and another one is the AE ataxic data and the uh, results over here shows that the um, that the SE again still preserves the cell, stru uh, cell uh, structure in in the translated domains Next, we tried to quantify the integration quality uh, where we measured the transport cell identity agreement between the translated domain and the original domain. And here we use the two evaluation matrix. One is the adjustron index and another is the Jaggard index. The results over here shows that the SE again outperforms other methods considerably well uh, in the various integration uh, tasks. Then we tried to evaluate uh, the robustness of the SE again, where we removed a certain percentage of cells uh, from each data sets and tried to see how does it affect the performance of the SE again and other methods, where we use different ratio of the cells. And the results over here shows that the SE again outperforms other methods as well here in this robustness task. We conclude that we uh, develop a Unifying architecture, which is an end-to-end -end supervised uh, single cell data integration method, uh, where we demonstrate that a unifying architecture, we can achieve good performance on various integration tasks. And it can be used for various uh, tasks on different replicates, treatments, tissues, or sequencing platforms. Uh, thank you for listening, and we'd like to thank uh, all our collaborators who have been part of this. Thank you.